I've played a lot. No, I've played a lot of pinball. At, you know, Name movie one game. arcades. I mean, uh, Family Adams or Adams. <laughs> family Adams. <laughs> family. Right comma, off the bat, Adams. you just screw uh, it up. Although it's not like that's that's an original IP for pinball, right? Oh, Adams um, Family. Adams Family. Uh, it is one of the best pinball machines. Terminator ever made. is another yes. good pinball machine. Terminator right? Three, not a good pinball machine. Terminator In, Two, great pinball machine. Well, so then there's some there's some synchronicity with the movies, mm -hmm. right? Yes. Um, Indiana Jones pinball. Which one? Uh, Last Crusade. Uh, close. That's you. I think you're thinking of the Indiana Jones one that was made by uh, Williams. Okay, which that one was that? That one was great. That one was great. That one was good. Uh, then there was one made by Stern, which included the uh, Kingdom of the Crystal Skull elements in the Ooh. game. That was not good. That's a shame. No. Um, not good. I mean, look, I've you, been to, what's the name of the pinball place in Alameda? Uh, Pacific Pinball Museum. I've been to the Pacific Pinball Museum. Mm -hmm. um, I have friends who are in pinball leagues like yourself and Ron Richards. Oh, yeah, yeah. He's in I, the so I respect pinball. I'm totally behind you if like if that's your thing, mm -hmm. um, but it just doesn't do it for me. And oh. I will admit that it's because I don't know enough about it or you how don't know to how really to play, play the game. I'm telling you, for me, this is why it's I like, it feels like it's just luck a lot. Right. Of the time. No, it's not luck. It's total skill. You're like the people who banned pinball in the 19 uh, in the 1950s. The that people they banned pinball. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, pinball was banned in the, in America Jeez. Uh, because people thought it was gambling. And really? it was banned for years, yeah. And then uh, they brought this guy, um, this guy on, uh, his last name is Sharp, and he's an amazing pinball uh, player, and his kids are amazing pinball players too. And he, Roger Sharp, he came on uh, in front of Congress and played a game to prove that it was not a game of chance, it was a game of skill. Get out of here. Yeah. No. He brought like a pinball machine. Like they brought a pinball machine to Congress and he was like, I will shoot this ball into the left ramp here, hit this bumper, knock it off and get it over there. Wow. And he was hitting all of these shots that he was saying. He was like, I know what I'm doing. That's so, pretty cool. It is a game of the, skill, not a game of chance. I hope that that is like an inspirational scene in a movie about the greatness of pinball. <laughs> that <laughs> that'll hopefully never, you make. That'll never happen. No, there's that, there's that awesome and super awkward documentary that's on Netflix, uh, Special Wind Lit, which is super, it's a weird documentary. There are a lot of weird people. Like, there I, are a lot of weird people. Uh, no. Hello, people. Oh, uh, on the internet. Yeah. <laughs> you guys are watching a couple of weird people. Uh, yeah. So Adam is on vacation still. One He's more week. on vacation for like, for like nine month. months. He's That's having cool. a baby. Um, I heard that he's at some secret uh, medical clinic in somewhere in South America. All right. Maybe he'll come back with a full head of hair. Who knows? Um, or Tara is sick. What? Uh, Tara is sick. Mm -hmm. Anthony. Sick and tired of us two. True. True. <laughs> also, Internet. Uh, she's ill. Uh, Anthony is at CES. Nick is at CES. Scott, you and I are pretty much the only ones in the office. Yeah. I'm Zach Miner. This is Scott Bromley. What's going on? Um, we are going to play a couple games today. Yeah. We're going to play Don't Starve, mm -hmm. uh, which just came out on PS4 today. Today for free. For free, yeah. If you're a PS Plus If you're a member. PS Plus member, which you should be. If you yeah. own a PS4, you should be a PS Plus member. Um, and then we're going to play some Secrets of Raytacon. R-A-E-T-I-K-O-N. Yes. Uh, it's a character I'm not super familiar with. It looks like A and E, but it's by these guys called Broken Rules. Um, so yeah, let's. Um, yeah, let's, should we just get into it? Yeah, I want to. I want to see this this game. Okay. Don't starve. So don't starve. Um, it seems like we're having some issues on Twitch here. Oh, maybe we're live on Twitch now. It seems like we're live on Twitch. I'll just give this to you. All right, cool. You keep an eye on the chat. I'll keep an eye on the chat. I think chat. what we'll do. I've played about a couple hours of Don't Starve back mm -hmm. on PC, so I know a little bit about the game. I'll try my hand at it, and then we'll see how far you can get. Is okay. That good? Yeah, that sounds that sounds fair. So, Don't Starve um, is by Clay Entertainment, who you might know from Shank or Mark the Ninja. Yes. Um, I love Shank. Shank is. Well, awesome. I mean, I love the art style. The, the art style, the, yeah. The, the so, these guys, they're, they're, they're known, almost all their stuff has really unique art styles. Yeah. Um, so, every game of Don't Starve starts with a randomized world. It's a kind of survival sandbox game. You're dropped into this world. Um, you can play a bunch of different characters. You can start out with this guy. You gotta um, find something to eat before night comes. Exactly. Gotta go into the dirt. And the goal of the game, what do you think it is, Scott? Uh, is to find a bird and not bird? starve. Eat oh, the bird. The bird's gone. He eat the flowers. Yeah, you're right. Part, part of the game is to not starve. 
So you see in the right hand corner there, there's a little, uh, a little stomach, a little intestines icon. That is your hunger, and then there's your health, and there's your sanity. Mm. So you, yeah, you just need to survive. And okay. Th there's a lot of stuff in this game um, that is trying to make you not survive. So like birds. Birds are actually okay, um, but there's oh. stuff like this. Oh, they killed Piggy for his glasses. I, I know what they're doing here. So what do you think happened here? Hmm, sucks to your ass, Mar Piggy. So, all right, so there's a touchstone. Um, I could activate it. Should I try activating it? Yep. I, yeah. I've literally... Absolutely, all right. absolutely. Look. Interesting. What an odd okay. looking stone. That looks like that looks like some sort of sacrificial altar, doesn't it? Oh, it looks like a stone bed. Go lay on it. Anyway, let me uh, let me tech up in the meantime. So, uh, on your left here, you have some crafting items. Um, you can start out by making axes and pickaxes, lights, torches, um, a trap to capture some bunnies and stuff like that. Uh, and on the bottom here is just your inventory. So right now, I just collected. Oh man, we're offline on Twitch. Mm -hmm. um, all right, why don't you try just running around collecting right. stuff? I'll try and get us back online right. here on Twitch. This is where it's gonna get fun. Enough of the enough of the learning how to play the game properly. Let's yeah. just let's play it like like Scott would. Let's break it. Look at that pig head. Looks like an offering to the beast, it does. Inspect. What an old looking stone. Alright, let's go find something to kill. I'm gonna pick some grass. So you're not really gonna be able to kill anything yet because uh, uh, you need to build an axe and a pickaxe. How first. do I build a how do I build an axe? So hold down the left trigger. Hold on, I wanna talk to this dude. L2. Better him than me! L2, alright. What do I need? So Chop you down need, trees. You need some rocks. I okay. Go up. Go up here? Oh no no no, on the holding down the left trigger. Go up. Uh, yeah, yeah, you never get that, yeah, there All right. So what do I, I need five sticks? So you have, the, you have one, have you need I one need stick, one stick and, and one, one rock. One, yeah, one exactly. rock, all right, let's find a rock. Look, I found a giant rock. And pretty much everything around here, so yeah, so the giant rock you need a pickaxe to break down. Of course um, you do. So pretty much everything in here can be used for something. So you can pick the grass and you can eventually turn that into rope and stuff. I'm gonna hold on to those seeds. Seeds you can use as bait. Um, or you can Oh, them. rabbit hole. Let's go watch my new show. Oh. Oh, yeah. There you go. <laughs> my new show, Scott Bromley's Internet Rabbit Hole, premiering on Revenue Games on Tuesday, January 14th. Our first new show of 2014. 2014. Yes. Ah, uh, let's get this beehive. I'm going to attack this beehive. No, I'm not. Flint. That'll work. Oh, look. I found a rock. Oh, that's a mushroom. It's sleeping. Pick some flowers for my girlfriend. Pick up some flint. Get I don't some think carrots. you can get a girlfriend in this game. I haven't played that much, but I don't think there's any there's, other people. Well, I guess there's no romance people. options. I don't think there are romance options. Certainly uh, not. What in the kind same of a game sense. is this? Yeah, some, oh, some gonna, indie crap, right? I'm gonna attack that butterfly. Get out of here. All right, let's see here. Get some more carrots. I'm really just killing time until. Until no. light comes? No. Or, or until we get Twitch fixed? Both. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna pick some shrooms! All right, can I make my... Oh, yeah, I can. All right, I'm gonna build this. Yeah, that's... Up yours, Woodsy the Owl. All right, Twitch. And... Hmm. Oh, there you go, you got an axe, good. Yeah. Oh yeah, there's some spiders there. Watch out for that. Spider doesn't. Spider won't Man, bother me. What is going on here? Um, Twitch is not working for us for some reason. I'm wondering if the audience is having as much fun watching me um, chop down trees as I am having chopping down trees. Not as much fun as watching me uh, try to troubleshoot our Twitch connection. The thing was, when, when, um, oh, come on. Ralph Bear created the video game. What he had in mind was people running around a forest chopping trees. Tell me more. 
he was like, I have a vision for the future, and it's going to include people sitting around a television chopping trees. So what is your strategy to not starve? My strategy for not starving is to pick up as much garbage as I can and then... And then just bunker down? Yeah. How okay. am I doing on the starvo meter? I'm well, doing fine. You're doing fine, but you'll notice in the uh, far upper right that there is a little clock that tells you what time of day it is. Uh -huh. um, so it's when not starve time. It's not, well, you're kind of always starving, but when it goes into the blue, uh, then it's nighttime and you have some new challenges to deal with. Um, it's been nighttime. No, this is this is kind of dusk. This is in, in this is in the red. Um, hey, so a fun little live stream note. Uh, we've been doing this for about eight minutes now. About three minutes ago, I found out that I'm blocking someone in downstairs, uh, and they need me to move my car. Good job. Yeah, I don't think that's going to happen. Um, Do you want me to go show. move your car? Uh, no, I think you're kind of busy right now. Oh, okay. Um, but maybe, maybe we can get someone. Can we to bring grab the camera down there? Because I think that would be more interesting. Oh, how do if I? How do, roll... What do we do now? What do we do now? Let's light some fire. What am I supposed to do? Oh, you're you're dead. So go up to the fire. Go up to the fire. What? Whoa! It's so dark. Fire. Like, yeah, build a torch. How do I build go a to the torch? Right. Go to the right. What am I supposed to do? Navigate the menu using the left stick. Build there. It. X. You, you had it. Hit X. I'm hitting X. There you go. Now go activate it. I'm. Oh, you dead. It's just. All right. I feel like my father trying to play a video game right now. There you now. go. Oh, whoa. Yeah, see? That's... Yeah, that's new. Weird. Yeah, maybe you should have inspected that so you... Maybe that's a checkpoint huh. that I built for you, that's, sir. That's maybe I knew what I was doing. You are... <laughs> look, you can pick up nightmare fuel. Um, okay, so I think... Uh, I think Twitch is not going to work today, guys. I'm sorry for anyone who likes to watch on Twitch. Um, we're going to try and figure out what's going on with that. Um, but maybe I should just show you how to play this game. So... <laughs> Uh, so you, nighttime is very dangerous, and you need to kind of bunker down when nighttime comes. Um, so you want to build like a fire pit or a campfire to get you through the night. Mm -hmm. But your first kind of objective is to build a science machine. That's kind of how you. Of course. That's how you tech up in right. this world. Um, so we need for a science machine, we need gold, we need some logs, and we need some rocks. So I need an axe and a pickaxe. Let's see if we can uh, walk. Oh, cane. get a walking cane! Yeah, you're gonna need that. That's cool. You're gonna need that. Um, because then you can you can uh, if enemies come after you, you can have the cane be like, you wouldn't attack an old man, would you? And then they walk away. That's a good strategy. I don't know if the monsters react like that in this. They're proper monsters. I think so. Yeah. They respect the elderly. Yep. So let's see here. Um, where are some rocks? Um, Liz in the control room, I'm wondering if you wouldn't mind sending a text message to Max downstairs. Um, let him know to come up. Can you go swimming? Um, yeah, because um, we need to get my keys down there. So uh, Give that dude a high five. All right, so here's a little torch. I got a torch, that's cool. So yeah, so Scott, some navigational issues. Use the right stick to navigate your inventory on the bottom. Oh. Hold left, and then the, the left stick to navigate. Th those tips would have been helpful uh, Ten minutes ago when well, I was Well, I was trying to fix the stream. Apparently I'm blocking someone in downstairs. Yeah. This is why Go we leave. Go swimming. I can't. Why? Can't go swimming. Because this is like, this is Grand Theft Auto rules. Um, are you noticing like some of the, see how those rocks start to move a little bit on the side there? No, what you're hot. Am I? No. Do you... Yeah, there's an invisible monster Okay, there. so um, we got resurrected by touching this altar. Hey, look, there's a guy right there too. What the hell? Yeah. I've played this game for maybe three hours, and I've never gotten resurrected by, uh, by yep. a rock. So yep. um, we might be in for some weird stuff here. Um, but I guess let's just start building. All right, so let me build my axe. Got my axe. Let me, build, let me grab another stick, and I can build a uh, grab another stick, and I can build a uh, pickaxe, and I can start chopping down. Some trees. Oh look, those oh, those rocks are freaking out. Yeah, I I don't think this is gonna end well for me here. Dude, your character is so high right now. I think he is kinda high. Let's see here. So we were talking a bit about this a little bit before we went live, Scott. Mm -hmm. Um I mean, you can certainly argue that a big part of this game's mechanics falls into the 
crafting, crafting. game, right? Which yes. um, in many ways uh, started to get popularized with Minecraft, and yes. we've seen it now in Terraria and Starbound yes. and, and basically, Rust. Yes, if you have an indie game, odds are you're going to be crafting in it. Right. Yeah. Right. Um, so, what do you? How do you feel about? Can we call it? A, I mean, it's kind of a subgenre, right? Um, uh, yeah. Do you, I, do you enjoy these games? Not really. No? Have, have you gotten <laughs> into any of them? No. Okay. Uh, I, I, yeah, I mean, there's something, there's something really, I, I, I need instant gratification with my games. Like, there's, there's nothing really gratifying for me for walking around for the first hour or so trying to get the most basic level of anything done. Okay. Kind of like, kind of like in uh, modern Zelda games, except uh, Link Between Two Worlds, where you would spend basically two hours in an unnecessary tutorial before you actually get to play the game. Right. Uh, crafting games feel like an endless, uh, unnecessary tutorial. But I find like, but they're also in some ways the antithesis of tutorials because many of them, um, this one included do go out of the way to not teach you anything about the game. Right. Like they kind which, of make you Which is probably also own. another reason why I don't enjoy them because I don't know what I'm supposed to do and I say, F this, right. and I walk away. Right. Yeah, I, I mean, I'm kind of with you. Like I never, I never got stuck, I never had a Minecraft phase. Um, mm -hmm. I uh, never really got into Terraria. It's actually, I, I did get into Starbound recently, which I really enjoyed, and I played this last year. Um, but I agree, I guess I need a little more structure mm -hmm. in my games. A little um, more game in your game? As much as I like, I mean, if you want to go there, I don't really agree with that. Um, but um, I do like the openness. I do like the openness. And this is, this is a game that much like, um, I'm going to talk about Spelunky now, Scott. <laughs> <laughs> much like Spelunky, game of the generation you know. Spelunky, um, I feel about Spelunky the way you feel, you feel about, about pinball. pinball. Totally. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> that's fine. Um, but this is a game that, like, once you understand what you can do and kind of the main things that you can interact with and kind of the core idea of surviving each night and finding what you need to find, um, like, you, you can enjoy the game, but it gets way, way deeper. And for Don't Starve, I haven't really even explored that much yet. Um, Why did you choose to build your fire here? What, what was it about here that... Uh, That's an honest question. No, you, it's a good question. Because you, you have to, obviously, you have to obviously figure out a place that's gonna not get you mauled by this shadow monster who's lurking over to the right. So I don't know what's gonna keep me alive from those shadow monsters. Right. Um, because they know, are all over the man, place. They are everywhere. I will say that um, I'll just add some fuel to this, keep me alive. So, if you're playing the regular game and you have not been resurrected by some magical altar, um, when it gets nighttime, monsters come out, and that's what happened to you. Mm -hmm. And if you don't have a torch or you don't have a campfire, then uh, you'll just die. And that's that is what happens. That is why you need to survive. Uh, so I'm going to build a science machine, which I got some gold. Of course. So now you'll see the science machine on the left has opened up a ton of more options. You can build some weapons, you can build some structures, you can refine items. Um, there are magic items um, of course. that you can build. Um, because magic and science go hand in hand. In the world of Don't Starve, they certainly do. <laughs> um, so yeah, I, I'm just building this here for, for no particular reason, but really because night was about to fall and I was going to die. I guess, I mean, there's those eyes. Um, I guess we stayed alive from those scary shadow monsters. Mm, congratulations. I think that we haven't really Although seen your starvo kind of meter is... I am is... starving, so uh, let's also, get Also, it looks like here. you're a little heartbroken because you're alone. I am alone, yeah. My sanity is going down. My health is down. Um, so on the bottom here on my inventory, we can cook items using the D-pad. Cook, cook some seeds. Cooking some seeds here, some little roasted seeds. And let's eat those seeds. Yep. Let's cook those berries, and we can eat those berries. There's and that's one. all the food we have. That's that's everything. Uh, so there's a wormhole. So wormhole. Uh, that's my old show. You wanna you wanna jump in there? Should yep. we see what's going on? Yeah, the go in the wormhole. So this was a terrible idea. We Why? are almost about to die for sure. Um, but it's fun. That was not a sane thing to do. So there you go. We'll jump back um, in. Let's see if it goes back to where we were. Let's see if they were one way. Oh yeah. Oh, see, yeah, you're back with your science machine. That was a total sane thing to that do. That's fine. Yeah. Um, 
Although my sanity is really almost out of there. Yep. Which I guess is why we're seeing all these shadow monsters. Oh, that's why you're seeing all the shadow people. There you Cause go. you're nuts. There you go. I get it. That makes sense. Uh, so you want to check, take a look at the map here, Scott. Mm -hmm. Each world is randomly generated. And there are big, big maps that are randomly generated. Mm -hmm. um, or you can just zoom out really far. Or you can zoom out really far. So this is where we are. And I guess that wormhole took us over there. Oh. Interesting. Um, so not that far away. Not that far away, but good to know nonetheless. Man, we, we're not in a good place right now. We need to find some food. Apparently, you need to find some flowers to make a necklace. I need to find to some regain flowers your sanity. to get a necklace. <laughs> sure. Because that makes sense. It, you know, in the world of Don't Starve, it kind of makes sense. Um, oh, uh, the chat room is very angry at me because I, I don't like crafting games. That makes sense to me perfectly. It, it, does, it does not surprise me in the least. One of, one of your many opinions, that is sure to incite some anger. Oh, yeah, how dare I have an opinion. Terrible. Ugh. Terrible. Ugh. New for Rep3 Games in 2014. We're going to be removing Last opinions. year was all about sentences. This year it's all about opinions. Or uh, I was thinking that we just remove opinions. I think that we become the number one place for unbiased reviews. Oh, yeah. Okay. We can do that. We'll, this game is fantastic. We'll pitch that to Adam. This is a game this in is which a game. you craft things. Um, mm -hmm. I agree. It is free to a lot of people. Even uh, if you don't it have, even costs money to others. It costs money to others. It's yeah. true. Yeah. Although, actually, even if you don't have PS Plus, this game is free. You can play this game um, in Chrome for free. Mm -hmm. um, and it's really cheap on Steam, I think. It's on Mac, Linux, PC. Um, so they, it's been on PC for, gosh, maybe a year and a half, two years. It, was, it kind of did this early, out, uh, early access before early access was really a thing. Um, thing, you know, Clay is really experimental. Um, and so this went through a ton of revisions as it was in this kind of open alpha. Um, and only in the last several months did they add controller support to the PC version. Uh, they redid the UI so that it would work with a controller for uh, PS4. Um, and I will say it's... It's not as easy as mouse and keyboard to begin with, um, but you can kind of do what you need to do. I'm chopping down trees when I need to be looking for food, um, finding flowers to make a necklace, but um, I think we're gonna die here pretty soon. I think that this was this is an ill-fated playthrough. Mm -hmm. Go in the rabbit hole. Just just go. I in can't there. go in the rabbit hole. Why? This must lead to the kingdom of the bunnymen. Oh. No, or it must lead to my brand new show, all about the or 80s and 90s. <laughs> if only we could have hacked this game to every time you clicked on that, it, it, just, it would just it take you to a new a episode. For your, <laughs> a promo for my show or, would come yeah, up. Yeah, we could maybe we can talk to. Cole hey about guys, that. remember the 80s and 90s? Watch my new show. You just go into a cave and you're watching a screen that's pointed to YouTube.com/slash/Rep3Games. Yes. Um, you want to try? Oh, I need a shovel to dig up those graves. Mm-hmm. I can't really build a shovel yet. I think I need a science machine to build that. If I went back to my science machine, I could, but food is the most pressing thing. I think that even though the game is titled Don't Starve, we are going to starve here. Eating these uncooked berries isn't going to do much for me. I need these seeds. Whoa. Oh, eat that what owl. The hell? Oh, get that thing. Yeah. That oh, it's a turkey. It's a gobbler. Oh, get it. I don't think I'm going to be able to get it. <laughs> oh. Get it. I really wish Throw I had Throw your axe. I can't throw the axe. Why? Uh, cause it's not a throwing Sneak axe. Sneak up on the turkey. There you go. Don't oh, get it from behind, I can't see it coming! Oh! Ah! Wow. Nope. What's over here? Oh, it's another altar. I don't know if I want to mess with the altar this time. The, the altar brought you back to life. I guess you're right. So that's an interesting, like, I had no idea that this is kind of a way to stay alive in this world. Yeah. Obviously there are some death penalties though. Getting late, it will be dark soon. I wonder if you can find your corpse if you die. I don't know. Um, You're going to find out in a moment. Probably. Uh, so what do you think about this art style, Scott? You're an artist. You went to art school. I did. Um, it's, it's, it's trying to ape Gory, which Tim Burton tried to ape, but it's also trying to ape Tim Burton's style. Mm. Um, it's, it's good in parts, but it feels uneven. When you say, say ape, I mean, is it really trying to ape oh, it or is inspired. it inspired by it? Okay, inspired is a better word, but um, uh, it's, there is some art, like, I'm not a fan of this character's character design. Okay. I, I don't, I don't like the, the way it looks. I think it's, it's uneven, but there are other characters in the, like the turkey character. Yeah. That's a great design. Yep. Um, 
there are other characters on the on the title screen, which I was like, wow, that's a really cool, that's a really interesting design. But this one, it, I don't know, it just feels like every, it feels like every kind of character in this style I've ever seen before. They all have the same hair. Mm. Uh, not a fan. I wish I wish you could uh, you had a different option for the main character. Fair enough. Like that, well, see, the silhouette, the silhouette yeah. of that character is yeah. it's a great silhouette. That is that's incredible. But this character does not have a good silhouette. There's really? a difference. There's With a that difference. Hair? Like, no, I mean, no, no, no. I mean there's a difference. Okay. There's a difference in in silhouette and design. Like if you can tell what the character looks like in silhouette, yeah. It's a great design. Right. And don't you think this one is recognizable mm. in silhouette? It's not a. It's it, it's not a fun silhouette. Okay, fair enough. All right, so we have some more materials here now, Scott. What what should we get building? What do you want me to build? Um, I could build a spear. We could try mm -hmm. to hunt down that turkey. Yeah. Um, get a shadow manipulator. I can't build a shadow manipulator. No. Build a um, sewing kit. Can't Make build a new a outfit. Kit. I can build some rope. I can refine some grass and a rope. Okay. And then well, you're gonna need I... to refine your fire in a second. I need to add some some fuel to that for sure. Let's drop a couple logs on there. Um, you. Oh man, Cold Havoc is so mad at me right now. Oh, uh, he's so mad. What's he mad about? He's mad that um, he doesn't think I actually play a lot of games, which is well, pretty far from the truth. It depends if you consider pinball to be a game. I play more games than pinball. I just I'm building a pinball machine. That's why it's taking up all my time on weekends. Fair enough. What else uh, did you play over the holidays? Uh, I played restoring my Playboy pinball machine. Okay. A Playboy pinball machine? Yeah, from 1978. Does it have uh, does it have girls on it? Yeah, it has a lot of girls on it. Really? Yeah. Huh. It's a it's a nice it's it's a. Was this in like an adults only arcade? No, no, what? it was in it was in family arcades. It was a, it's it's totally PG rated. Okay. But when I, when I had the holiday break, I completely tore it down and rebuilt it, including all the wiring. So that it took a little bit of time. Yeah, that sounds like it. took a like little it. bit of time. How many pinball machines do you have, <clears throat> I currently have five. And they are? <clears throat> they are, in no particular order. Uh, Playboy, Dolly Parton, um, Speakeasy, F14 Tomcat, and a game called um, Sure Shot. What is F14 Combat? Tomcat. Tomcat. It's a, uh, it's, it's a Top Gun type pinball machine. Came out the same time as Top Gun. It's just F-14. But it's not, there's no, that's not an IP. No, okay. no, they could not afford the- It's uh, not a license. The, uh, no. All right, uh, man, we are not doing well in this game. I'm actually shocked that I'm not dead yet. Um, I kind of wish that we could just start over. You want to start a new game, Scott? Yes. Okay. Um, so let's start. Let's start a new match here. Um, we'll we'll play one more round here, or we'll see how long Scott can survive on his own. Okay. Um, and don't starve. So okay, you're not into crafting games that much. Has been. I'm into games. I'm into you're video into games. games. I'm into video games. Um, by the way, just so you guys can see it, here are all the characters that you can unlock, and you unlock by leveling. See, up look at that! Look, so look at how cool that dude is with the mustache. Why can't we be him? But imagine if instead of a cool mustache, he had cool hair. It would kind of look like this guy, no? <sighs> anyway. All right. Oh, we're, oh, oh, I'm playing. Yeah, right? I want to oh. see how far you can get. Oh, boy. I wasn't even paying attention. And that's, that's <laughs> part of the problem. So am I gonna come back to life from the altar, or am I just going, oh. Say, pal, you don't look so good. Better find something to eat before night comes, see? So there's kind of a story to this game. There's a, an opening cutscene where you're a scientist, and you kind of oh. get some inspiration to create some insane contraption. And by activating that contraption, you get sucked into this world. Okay, so I need some sticks and a rock. Well, what do you want to build first? Look at what I you need want to build. build on the, the I need to build there. the axe to go get the to go chop down trees. To go chop down some trees. Get some sticks. Sticks are good. You can always build. Uh, I'm gonna build an axe. 
get some rocks, get some berries, because I'm gonna need to eat those later. Yeah, um... Get some mushrooms, because I'm gonna trip balls. People are saying that this game looks boring, and I will say a lot of that is our fault, um, but it's also kind of the <laughs> game. <laughs> Uh, the game is not, so I will say that I really enjoy playing this game, but it's a game that is like, it's, it's a single game that, player, you get lost in for a while. It's a game that you need to play for about two hours by yourself to really get, get into and then be able to get it. it it's like, it's a, a game, game about, you it's a game you can't, exp oh, oh, Jiminy Cricket. Yep. Watch out for that spider. Oh, dude. Watch out. Also, look, you go they'll, they'll fight each other. Well, I want to go. I'm gonna fight them up here. The systems interact. Emergent gameplay. That's my space. His name is Nacho. His name is Nacho. Eat Nacho yeah. the pig. I'm gonna attack Nacho. Go for the eyes. Ah, Nacho. I don't think that was a good idea, Scott. I don't think you're gonna survive very long. Uh, well, because he has friends. I think even if it was mano a mano, you would be. Uh, you'd be you dead. mean Nacho e Nacho? <laughs> Nacho e Nacho, yeah. Um, but yeah, it's a game that's about like exploring this world for yourself, figuring out what you can do. Um, so it's not the best game to live stream, but it came out today, so that's why we're playing it for you, you know guys. What? I take back oh, everything. Man. I take back everything I said earlier. This game is fun now. What is this? Inspect this. Exactly. You Wait, see? In you didn't even inspect it. I don't need what to inspect. Doing? I'm taking it with me. You're you're picking up the evil flowers. Yes. This game is about choices. I'm making a choice. You are making choices. Um, your sanity is dropping rapidly. Yep. Mm -hmm. Why don't you try eating some of those evil flowers? Okay. Dark petals. Eat them. Get half. What, uh, select. Um, Eat. No, no, no. So you are. So hit right trigger. Okay. Or R two, I should say. Uh, so using the right stick, you do, you don't need yeah you don't need to hit R two to go into that bottom bar. Okay. So hit R two. Yeah, so now just use the right stick, and you can navigate. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Use the right, right stick, stick to navigate, sorry, sorry, sorry. and then I the D-pad I was interact. using the D-pad. Yeah. I'm going to eat those. So yeah, eat the dark petals. Let's yeah. see what happens. Mm. Mm. That seems like mm. that, that's a great decision. Mm. Yeah, your sanity is almost completely gone, as we're yeah. seeing. Yeah! <laughs> See, now Scott's modeled the character the after what he's like in real life. Follow the yellow brick road! <laughs> yes, assemble this. Activate! Let's find Nacho and sacrifice him. Dude, just build a spear. Just build a spear. I mean, you need to go through a science machine uh, yeah, and tech yeah, up for that. Yeah, yeah, At yeah. least build an axe. At least well, try to find some rocks That's or what I was going to do. Mmm. Get some of those. There's a spider. Some more Nacho's friends. Oh, man. Nacho, leave me alone, bro. I mean, There's you went up to him and just punched him. Why should he leave you alone? Hey, he was mouthing off. He came up to me. That's a fair point. Let's get some grass. <laughs> oh, oh, cool. Yeah. Oh my god. What is this? Oh, this is my obelisk. new this is my new best friend, Pig King. He smells. Attack. Inspect uh, inspect the obelisks. Yep, those are crazy looking rocks. Mhm. Mm What's up, pig hmm. man? All right, so this is what I'm saying. It's like there's a bunch of random stuff in this game that you could play it for hours and not find. Yeah. And I have no idea how it interacts with it. Like with a itself. pig home. Yeah, Scott has no idea what he's doing. Um, this is the fir his first time playing this game. Yep, like you did any better your first time. I did much worse my first time. Thank you. Actually, no, that's not true. I didn't eat evil flowers. I well, hey, sanity. you didn't have someone forcing you to eat evil flowers. Who forced you to eat evil You did, you are like, oh, it would be a good idea if you ate evil flowers. Scott, did you hear someone tell you to eat those evil flowers? <laughs> what is going on is in this IFB? In your ear? <laughs> uh, so yeah, you're, you're gonna hit darkness soon, Scott. You better find some flint, at least create a torch if you're not gonna find some rocks. Nope. Um, I'm gonna hang out with this spider. Boy, you, you're not getting some good drops here. Nope. Uh, more spiders, that's not good. Mm-hmm. Hmm. hmm. Uh, open up your map. Hit the uh, hit the center button there. Center the 
This one? <laughs> nope, nope, nope. Don't hit that. <laughs> I know. <laughs> what do I want? Hit, no, hit touchpad button. Touch, okay. That's, that's different go. than center button. It's a button in the center, no? This is also a button in the center. That's the PlayStation button. Anyway. Okay. Um, okay, so that's where like you've been. Way. Yeah, maybe just explore an area that you haven't been. Hopefully you'll find some, uh, some flint. Uh, but then we'll, we'll just switch games here because you're going to die in a second. Okay. Um, if you guys are at all interested in this game for some reason based on what we've done, um, <laughs> then you're smart because this is actually a really good game. We're just doing a bad job of showing it off. Um, but that's okay. Uh, Don't Starve, it's out today on PS4, free for PS Plus members. I think what we've learned here today, Zach. Tell me what we've learned. Is if you want me to live stream a game with you, let me play it for a couple of hours before we go live. Well, I was hoping that we would get some humor out of you trying to play the game for the first time. But we die. just ended up angering everyone. We did. I, I blame Twitch for this, to be honest. <laughs> I think it's all Twitch's fault. <laughs> it really threw us <laughs> off our game in the beginning. Um, that's okay. I think we're not really good. I'm going to blame this on your car blocking everyone. You can blame it on my car. Really, this stream was ill-fated from the beginning. Yes. Um, but it's it's a really awesome game. Wait, is that a rock? There's not. No. Uh. Um, it's an awesome game, and it's free if you have PS Plus. And um, you know, the PS4 needs some games right now. So does the Xbox One. You know what's on the PS4 right now? It's really fun. Uh, nope, I don't. The the pinball don't. the pinball arcade. Oh, man. <laughs> I think we're going to play Pinball Arcade on the stream later this week. Oh, oh my god, I'm going to show not. everyone how to play Twilight Zone. And this is the end for Scott. Um, nope, oh, not god. the end. No, it's Still not. alive! Found the altar. <laughs> no, but seriously, this is the end. All right, what do we all do right, now? Scott. Uh, here, I'll just grab this. Um, we will switch sources back to the PC. OK, you go ahead and do that. All right, uh, changing tones pretty drastically. We can hit the switch. Uh, we're going over to Secrets of Raticon. Mm-hmm. Um, Secrets of, of Raticon. Raticon. Um, can we switch sources here? So yeah, again, Don't Star free on PS4 if you have PS Plus. It's Man, also I... out on Steam, Mac, PC, Linux, uh, Chrome. Um, it's really fun. Go play it. Um, if I had low self-esteem, I would just crawl into a cave reading these comments right now. Yeah. I would. I would. Uh, this has not been our best stream. These people, I'll, I'll admit it it's, it's, like, it's like no one realizes that there's a person on the other end well, reading these comments. Well, are we even really people? No. no. So, all right, uh, Secrets of Raytacon. Um, did you play Chasing Aurora? On Scott? Wii U? On the Wii U, yeah. No, I did not. You didn't play it. Um, so this was a game that, uh, it's by those same guys, Broken Rules, are from uh, Austria. And this is the game that they were actually making before Chase and Aurora. So Chase and Aurora was, uh, it was kind of like this four or I guess five player freeze tag game with a cool art style, you played a bird. This is single player um, exploration, you play a bird. Just hit early access today on Steam. Um, I think it's $10 on sale for $8. So let's, uh, let's check it out here. All right, go, go, go. So I'm this bird, I'm falling. Um, Use your wings. Don't seem to be getting any audio. You guys hear an audio? Um, let me know. If oh, dude, this game audio. looks awesome. No, no audio. There's no audio. I'll, I'll do. Yeah, give us some nice ambient noises. All right, uh, let's, uh, let's pause for a second, Liz. If you want to go back on us, I'll see. If this we game looks awesome. Stuff. This game is awesome. I'm glad that you agree, Scott. This game looks fun. This it, looks like a it game. It is good fun. There's lots of good fun to be had. Um, let's see here. Ah, I think we we just fixed audio. Oh, I just heard some audio. Hey, you heard it? Let's see. Yep. Boom. Yay, Windows noises. All right, we'll hop back in here. Um, so you play a bird. OK. And there's some glyphs. Oh. <sighs> I'm hearing it now. You don't see video? You just. You don't Man, have... this whole stream is cursed. So I should also say that much of our studio crew is down at CES as well. <laughs> so this is uh, this is great. Uh, so we're not seeing. You guys don't have the PC as a source, is that right? Correct. This well, is this is the. F okay. Let me. Uh, all right. Let me. Let me just change it here, guys. Um, so yeah, if you guys missed the beginning, why are Scott and Zach playing games? Mm -hmm. Great question. Um, 
Adam is still on vacation. He's back next Monday. Um, Tara is sick, sadly. Nick Robinson is down at CES. Anthony is at CES. Most of our studio crew is at CES. Um, we're just kind of bumming around the office. Yep. So, all right, Secrets of Redicon. Hopefully you guys should see this now. It is beautiful. You start out as a bird flying from the sky. That does not know how to use its wings until you get a few inches from the ground. So, it says plus press cross. I think that's X. I think it's X or A on the uh, Xbox 360 controller. Because an A looks like a cross in Austria. There you go. Uh, so you, there are these glyphs that you can find. And look, I'm kind of mm -hmm. moving around this glyph. This is my bird. How about that? Looks pretty cool, right? Yep. Um, press A to flap your wing. Oh, I can collect that stuff. Um, very mysterious, obviously. Um, we'll let's try uh, collecting this. If you played Chase and Aurora, like I mentioned, a lot of this is going to look really similar. And it's because it's by the same folks and uh, Chase and Aurora was based off this. Um, Hold R1, or do they mean uh, They mean the right a. bumper. Okay. So you can pick up things using right bumper. I grabbed this little animal. Let's take him up here, and down he goes. Yes, like a real bird. Like a real bird. You can just pick up stuff, you can throw it. I just threw it there. Um, if you go up high, you can hold L1 or left bumper to dive. OK. And is the point to just grab all of those triangles? So. This is kind of the tutorial area. Um, the point is, you know what? You should be playing this guy. Um, we'll restart it then. Restart? No, people don't want to see this. Um, <clears throat> so you can interact with stuff. OK. Health orbs. They're health orbs, although it's a triangle. There are health orbs. Um, there are glyphs. We can grab rocks. You're a pretty strong bird. Whoa. And then if you collect runes, you then you kind of see this code that's being written here. That code is the alphabet. Now, if we press square or X on the 360 button, we'll fill this guy up. And how about this? Oh, man. You just video gamed. So you kind of get like some Fez vibes out of this. Um, a lot of really cool environmental puzzles. So if I just grab on the end here and move this over here, this is kind of the first puzzle of the game. And you created a shard. So let's grab the shard and let's go down here. Now, we are out of the tutorial area and you see kind of the frame of the game. So I dropped oh. the shard over there. And here are all the different worlds. Find the six shards to open all the cage doors. So you see there are little cages over there. Mm -hmm. Let's fly to the right, though. And, oh, with uh, other birds inside the cages. There are other birds. And you're going to there find out why birds the, you're going to find out why the caged you. bird sings. Oh, dude, that bird's effing up that other bird. Just that wasn't cool. That, that wasn't that? cool. If I got that health from it. You want to try? Sure. All right, so A is flap your wings. Or not doing anything, but flap your wings faster. Flap your wings faster. Can you I can, get, kind can of I explore wherever wings. I want? You can explore wherever you want. Oh, cool. Yeah, that's kind of the... It's, it's, oh, I'm gonna grab, how do I grab that? Board. How do I grab that bunny? Hold a uh, right bumper. Yeah! Oh. I'm gonna grab that. Yeah, this is, you ever see Watership Down? Nope. That's what just happened there. Oh man, look at all those, look at all those cool things that came out of that rabbit. Yeah, I think it-, it Oh, it had some, babies! It had some babies. Oh, I'm gonna kill this baby. You're coming with me, baby. To the sun! So yes, you can clearly kill things in this game. Uh, you can also be killed. Well, that was a strong Pick baby. Rocks. Oh, he's gonna go back to his mother? Not on my watch. So the basic structure of the game is within each of these worlds, as far as I can tell. I've only played an hour of this. Um, oh, why won't you die? <coughs> uh, the basic structure is you fly around, you can collect those Trying little Trying to kill glyphs. baby rabbits. Okay. Um, you can collect these little glyphs, and then you can release them kind of on that puzzle contraption that we did in the first level. And that will kind of open up different areas of the game. And I've learned something. You cannot, you can kill adult rabbits. You cannot kill baby rabbits. Ah, it's probably the, uh, what Peter Molyneux struggled with, right? Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, why don't you explore a little more, Scott? Okay. I'm gonna get one of this. I'm gonna get this thing. I'm right. 
there, it around. There is a pretty surprising like physics system in this yeah, game. Yeah, no, this game is this game is fun. I'm liking this. Basically, everything can be grabbed. Everything can be interacted with. Those those kind of bushes at the bottom Whoa. are thorn bushes. You want to watch out for those. Don't. Oh, that dude was taking me. Yep. Wow. You no, know, you 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 can get that health orb. Yeah, sorry guys that uh, Twitch isn't working for us right now. Um, hopefully we'll, we'll have that figured out after this. So there Apparently you go. I can't get those. There's some more glyphs. Yeah. Do I want all of them? Do yeah, it. you want to collect as many as you can. Because okay. um, as you'll explore, you'll find these items. Ooh, oh, how do I get in there? <coughs> my bird strength. <laughs> uh, this actually, Hot Pockets, is there a PC version of this game? We are playing on the PC right now. Uh, I'm such a strong bird. <coughs> there you go. Oh, um, I'm like an American eagle. Hey, can you guys grab me some water, please? Mm. Um, I'm crossing as hard as I can right now. This is riveting internet television. Oh. There you go. Nice work. Oh, no! Oh, no! <laughs> no. Nice. Uh, this is out on Steam Early Access. Um, if you, you can also buy it from their site, which is... By the way, uh, if you just Google uh, chasing, or no, uh, uh, Google broken rules games. Hey, Zach. Yep. For the record, I am having like <coughs> 70 times more fun than I was the last game playing this. This game is awesome. Oh, crush that rabbit! Yes! Oh, man. Yes! This oh, I got This game is a lot more like can, uh, conducive to picking up and playing it, right? Yeah. Oh yeah, I feel so satisfied. I killed Doesn't that. Doesn't it feel good to f just like fly around? Too? No, it feels good to kill rabbits. Well, this cool skull. So grab onto grab onto that little ruin there, and then you uh, can. Does that say arse? Yeah, you can kind of read. It's, it's something first, and then you can pick up those little guys. So oh, so there's a little. Uh, see that thing on the bottom there, on the bottom right? Hold on, the skull had secrets inside. Did. Yeah. Many secrets in this game. Many secrets. So go over there and hold X. Secret get. Oh. Oh shoot! Is he peeing those out? Nice. So now. Now I what can. What do you think you can do here? I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Bang a gong. Get it on. Yeah, you are. Grab it. Grab it and pull it. No, I'm gonna. I think you're supposed to grab it. And pull I'm it. trying to grab it. There we go. There Come go. on. Oh, bird. He's going to bird so hard. Nice. Yes. Oh, man. I just birded through that hole. The chat, does the chat hate me still for playing a game? No, the chat loves you now, Scott. Don't oh. worry about it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Trust me. Trust, trust me. <laughs> I now. don't trust a, a goddamn thing you say. So watch out for the bramble. That's what they always say. Watch out for the brambles. Woo! Lots of brambles. Yeah, this is this is a dangerous area. Oh man! Over here. This is oh, like. What does that one say? Oh, slow your roll, bro. Slow. Something I don't know. So you can collect uh, little ruins. I'm using the wrong terms here, um, but you can collect little ruins that will kind of unlock that alphabet, and you can decode those. Um, is there a story to it this says, game? It says drink more Ovaltine. You know, I think that you can, the story is a story that you create. Um, there's obviously like I, a framework in this game that, uh, and there are objectives, but you know, whoa. there's no, it's not like it's a game where there's a cutscene or a voiceover. It's kind of about exploring this world. And killing rabbits. Oh, oh no. Man, this is, this is oh, dangerous. This is rough. Oh, this is, you are in whoa. a bad place here. Oh, and you're going against the wind too. I know, that's why it's so hard. Ah! Ooh. Nice. Finally. Just made it up. Oh man, I need some health orbs. And grab this piece. Oh yeah, I think that you can build a little statue with that. Oh, good to know. <laughs> now that I tossed it away. Well, you know, you can pick it back Here up. Here lies Scott. Trevor of Fox Man Testarossa B Norway. Gotcha. You got it. Yep. Read that. Okay. Oh man! Oh, oh do! Wow. Oh no! Oh my God! It's, it's. Oh my God! Oh no! There are fire foxes. Oh, I don't want to kill you. Yeah. This game is do. gorgeous. 
I kind of do. What do you think about the art style on this? I like it. I like this. I, I think it is fantastic. You know, I had a lot of fun I don't with... think there's a single round shape in this entire game. No, not at all. Um... Uh-oh. Huh. Uh, Chase and Aurora, if you have a Wii, or a Wii U, I should say, uh, definitely check it out. It's really fun, uh, great local multiplayer, um, and it looks almost exactly like this, um, but it's just multiplayer. Um, but it had the misfortune of being a Wii U launch title, a Wii U downloadable launch title from an indie developer, um, which, like, it's cool. I hope it, I hope that they got some good press from it and everything, um, but I can't imagine it sold that many copies. Um, but I really, really like what I've played of this so far. This uh, game is awesome. It's just, yeah, it is. And okay, so we figured out what A and Z are. We figured out what A, what A and Z are. One of the most Let's commonly start. used letters and least common used letters we in the game. We can work from both ends and move to the, move to the middle. Um, but yeah, you know, it's, from what I've played so far, it seems like it's a pretty complete game. Um, Except for this part. What am I supposed like to it. do here? Well, just because we don't know what to do doesn't mean it's incomplete. Uh, I mean, it's Steam Early Access. There's a lot of Steam Early Access games that are straight up broken. Um, but this feels very polished. Like, the basic mechanics of flying and interacting feel great. And the physics are all really cool. All right, I'm going to go back out. So, Scott, I bet you have to build a statue on there. With I bet all those I would. Pieces. I bet I would if I could pick them up. Problem is. No, I bet the those you don't pick up. Those are there. And then you pick up the other pieces and drop them on. Those other pieces are foxes. Uh, no. Remember that one piece that you dropped? That turned into a fox? Uh, no. The piece down there? Oh, that one. And there was another one that you passed on the other side of the thorn bush. The music is really good, too. Yeah, it's like... This is very relaxing. It's stuff, it's stuff that you listen to when you're getting a massage. You want, me to, you want me to give you a little yeah, massage right now, Scott? Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Wait, what that are Adam's you doing? Here. What are you doing? You told me I could build a statue! Yeah. Ah, get up there. There might be another piece that you need. Well, there's definitely another there's couple There's several, pieces yeah. I mean, it's just, just a pile of garbage at this point. It is just a pile of garbage at this point. One. Oh, there's, there's good. What did we get there? We got. Oh, we got an I. We got an I. The number okay. one is the letter I. Oh, it's maybe no. I'm supposed to go here. Ooh. Maybe I wasn't even supposed to bring that. Okay. And um, deep in trouble, deep greed. I don't even know. Oh. I don't even know. Uh, so try uh, try hitting next on yeah. that. Or try, I'm gonna. Yeah, I'm gonna. See, see what we can I'm get. gonna. Feed it some, feed it some orbs. Oh, so that's the same kind of lever mechanic that we yep. had on that first one. You got to grab the other end. Yep. Oh, boom! God, that looks so good. Oh, there's a little. There's puzzle the piece. there's the puzzle piece. Let's go fly back to his brothers. So what's really cool is even though we're on, I guess, kind of the first <gasps> world, maybe? Guess what? I'm building a fox because that's his face. There you go. Um, even though we're on a very uh, early world, when I played, and I played for about an hour, I didn't explore this area at all. Somehow I went off to a completely different place. Yeah, who doesn't know how to play video games now, internet? Well, I think we both, <laughs> just both played it. Um, so I think you need to go back through that bramble I just, area. I'm okay. not going back through that. I'm going to see what's okay. over here. Yeah. I mean, I'll go back over there. Yeah, if but I whatever. Need to, this if, is, if need be. This is very but, loose structure here. But I'm going to... Oh, this guy. This guy's coming with me. Yeah. Call your friends all you want. Uh, yes, big brother. We do understand that the runes unlock the letters. We have gathered that. Um, but from what I've played of the, the game, uh, those, those kind of glyphs that have the coded words on them, I think they're just kind of story dressing. I don't think that those have any gameplay um, effect, from what I can tell. They they probably provide hints and provide some color, but a door is an H. Yeah, oh, you can, good from what I can understand, night you can play moon. Through most without kind of deciding uh, stuff. Uh, does this bird have a break? 
Wow. That's that's what life as a bird is like, Scott. Ugh. Oh man, that Dude, this is not going to be easy. This is not going to be through. easy. This is rough. Um, Cold Havoc asks what Tara is doing. Tara is sick, unfortunately. She's throwing up. You can tweet her pretty pictures of animals. I'm sure that she would enjoy that. I have three tiny bottles of gin for Tara at my desk right now. Why haven't you given those to me? Because you hate gin. What? What? Who told you that? Uh, Tara did. Tara was lying, as, as usual. I think we might be able to build this fox now. Yeah. Wrong way, think, wrong way. Well, I'm going to go in here. Because I, I thought for a second I forgot the other part. I wish you could carry more than one thing at a time. That's not very realistic, though, Scott. This is, this is a, a true... A bird has two feet. True bird sim. A bird has two feet. Drop that there. Mm, close. There we go. Yep. There we go. Where those are? Oh. This. oh, I think we got this. Yeah, I got this. Put this guy here. Swing it around. Ugh. Oh! Oh, almost. you stupid bird. Scraw! Get up there. I'm trying. Oh, oh nice. bam. And now uh, the headpiece. Now, the piece de resistance. The <laughs> flip it around. Just be grateful that you don't have to rebuild a pinball machine in this game. I know, right? Bam! Oh, I... oh it's opening up. It's totally worth it. It's totally worth it. I hope it's full of health orbs. Wow. Oh. This is for stunt work. You'll recognize these from uh, Mega Man or Metroid. <laughs> Hallways. Actual level decoration will be back any minute now. Okay. Oh, interesting. All right, cool. so remember how I was saying this is a Steam Early Access game? Uh, oh, boy. Oh, pick that. Oh, oh no, no, oh, no, oh, no. Oh, you are dead. Oh, grab his tail and drag that. I almost swore. Well, we're... Ooh. Dude, that guy can jump. Oh, no! Oh. oh, man. All my health orbs. Here. That is brutal. You want to fight him? I'll see if I can find him. You were doing pretty well, though. Yeah, thank you. So, all right. So let's go back into this little area here. Maybe we can explore a different area. Um, Wee! So we unlocked that one. Oh no, 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 not this bird. Oh man. I'm just gonna kill this bird. Oh. Nope. Oh, he's that got bird me. is he's bigger than you are. You cannot kill that oh, bird. Oh no. Oh no. That bird singing in the dead. Oh, oh god. god. He's gonna drop you in the brambles. You're Don't, mine. Why do you keep chasing him? I want. I tried to kill. No, I learned my lesson. I tried to kill him earlier. It won't happen. I killed him in my last game. Oh yeah. Wait. Oh. Was no. Nope. Was he making love to you <laughs> on that branch? What unclear. was going on? Very unclear. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> Strategy. Well played. There's, there's a health orb over there though, to well the left. Played. Oh, there's a health orb underneath that tree. Yeah, there is. So, uh, man, the controls for this game are great. Um, it's uh, really satisfying to fly around, really satisfying to like tug things out of the ground. Everything has this really kind of uh, nice uh, sound effect behind it. Uh, it makes it feel like you're really doing these work. There you go, a little boulder going down. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. Hmm. Let's see, can I pull this guy out? Maybe. Oh no, it's part of the mountain. All right. Nope, you have no. full health. Do not need oh, that health orb. Oh, there we go. We unlocked a letter. And we just got E. Nice. Ooh. This is oh, where my... that's a lot of stuff Oh, there's another there. letter up there. Up to yeah, the left. I know, I'm just trying to catch the wind. And... Ooh. Missed it again. All right. Can you 
a couple more passes. Oh. Uh, you can also do some dive bombs in this game. Uh, I would also like to let uh, Bob Mitt on the YouTube stream know that uh, I am not a ginger. I have blonde hair. Thank you. Color balance might be a little bit off in the yes. studio. You have some traits of, of gingerish. No? Well, I, I'm, I mean, I'm annoying and everyone hates me, but my hair is actually blonde. Right. That's the only trait I have. <laughs> right, right. Ginger in spirit, perhaps. Y yes. Um, let's see what these guys are. Sometimes, or some there's on something. Hmm. So yeah, even though you need to unlock the letters, like you can definitely read a lot of the stuff. On, some prizes some, are on people. Some some things are on people. Yeah. Huh. Are of people. Some things are of people. I love the way that this bird just kind of rotates around here. <laughs> Woo! Okay. Um, let's see here. Let's go see what's over here. So yeah, very, very loose structure to this game. It seems like, um, obviously, extremely non-linear. What is this? That's a tree. It's got secrets underneath Ooh. it. Oh, this is killer weapon. I can oh, to use against that, that stupid fox. The fox was friendly, though. No. Whoa! Oh, no. Oh! I love the sound it makes when you die. Right? Oh, health orb. Health orb? Yeah, there was a health orb. I just cannot get enough of the way this game looks. It is really, oh, look at this. We got another little statue. And a letter unlocked here. I think that was H we just got. We're getting pretty close. Yeah, um, we can almost read something. So where are the pieces for this? They're on the floor next to it? Uh, no, I think that those are oh, not. Oh, those, that's, Those okay. are just little things, yeah. Health orbs, actually. So we're almost at an hour here. Um, oh, here's a beast. Uh, sorry for all the technical difficulties we, we've had. Sorry. We should have started out of with the this office. Game. We should have started with this game, maybe. But I feel like um, a lot of people are interested in what the new PS4 game is because um, not a lot of tiny games coming out for it yet for either next-gen system. Although, what do you think of the news that they sold 4.2 million? That's I. You know, I'm not surprised. Actually, it's pretty pretty it's, damn impressive. It's impressive, but I'm I'm also. I mean, yeah, it's been sold out. I'm not surprised a because it's been sold out. B because it's been. Eight years, yep. Since a new system, and it was four hundred dollars, and I think four hundred dollars was not a big ask for people after eight years with a system. At least for the early adopters, yes. right? Yeah, 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 yeah totally. Uh, so Xbox I'm not, was I'm not what, shocked at all. Three point two was I, what, they, what they sold. Um, yeah, three point two to four. I guess you're right. Like it's kind of what we should have expected, but oops. But Xbox has been out in more territories. Mm -hmm. um, was this the way that I went down? No. Can I drop that down there? I feel like it was where I went. No? Oh, no, I went over here. No, you went over there. Um, yeah, I mean, it'll be interesting to see if when Titanfall... Uh, no, I didn't. This is the wrong way. It'll be interesting to see if Titanfall can help out that gap at all, but the PS4 isn't even out in Japan yet. It comes out in February. Um, so those are without the Japanese numbers. Oops. Uh, let's uh, see. This is just a note to everyone in the uh, comments. If you miss him, listen to our podcast, The Comedy Button. Oh, to Max Scoville. <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah, the Max I was talking about was not Scoville earlier. Sorry about that. Um, Steam boxes. What do you think about the Steam box news? Uh, Steam, right, I like I how you we, said Steam boxes because there's like 700 Steam of them. Steam machines, yeah. All right, I think we hit a little bug here. Um, yeah, what do you think? I think, it's, I think it's great. I mean, it's what is it? It's starting at 499 all the way up to 6000 Yeah. Dollars. Oh, see, you could have used your weapon on really that dude. Oh god, that oh, guy's god. gonna f you up. Oh, you got him. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Ah! Oh, Release me from your clutches. Oh, oh no! no! Oh. Well, maybe that's as good at any point as any. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, steam machines. You're you're excited about them? Yeah. Why not? Man, I don't know. I like. I have a PC and I love it, but the idea of a steam machine. Like they had a seven-minute press conference yesterday where... That's all you need. 
to do, but they didn't announce anything. They announced well, their, their hardware partners. No, I meant for a, a press conference in general. You just need seven I mean, minutes. that's true. That is true. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm skeptical. It seems like I, they have a ways to go. I, uh, look, okay. I'm excited in the sense that, yes, I can finally have it in my living room because I don't have a giant rig that it, that's hooked up to everything. I like having right. tiny boxes in, in living rooms, right. which I think this is going to be fantastic for. Uh, what I am skeptical about is because you have, like I said, basically hundreds of different models, that doesn't always necessarily work out. Yep. I mean, look at look at the CDI and the th and you know the whole that whole thing where there were tons of different models made right. by different manufacturers or and Android it, fragmentation exactly, and, and it never really takes off because no one nothing is the same. Right. So uh, that's where I'm a bit skeptical. And I've always felt like Steam's kind of biggest advantage, aside from all the great stuff they do, is the games library. Mm -hmm. And you lose that on the Steam machine. Because yep. um, it's only for the games that work on Linux, which I guess is 250, but, uh, and hopefully new games will, will have Linux support, but we'll see. Uh, anyway, um, this was Don't Starve, which is out today uh, for free if you're a PS Plus subscriber on PS4. It's also on Mac, PC, Linux, I believe. Mm -hmm. um, and Chrome. And then the second game was Secrets of Reticon, which is out today on Steam Early Access. You can also get it at their site. If you go to Broken Rules, and it's uh, broken, but just like put it, put the dot before the ES at the end there. It's one of those URLs. You know what I'm talking about? Sure. Broken Rule, Broken Rule dot ES. Just spell Broken Rules. That's the developer. Um, you like that game? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Sorry for the technical difficulties. Sorry we couldn't get Twitch working. We are uh, going to stream. Apologies to everyone in the office who uh, needed to get their car into yeah. the loading bay. Boy, Zach, this is a rough day. Yeah. Um, we're going to stream again. I'm not, but uh, hopefully Tara and Scott are going to stream this Thursday at 3 p.m. Pacific time. Games that we've played before. Games that we have played before, and then next Tuesday, Adam and Anthony are back. All new time. It's going to be on Tuesdays. Uh, their regular Adam and Anthony stream. That's going to be 4 p.m. Pacific time Tuesday. They're going to start Alan Wake, which should be very exciting. That is the, Alan Wake is the Alan Wake of video games. It is the Alan Wake of video games. Adam likes to say that a lot. Um, yeah, man, we're going to be back to normal soon. We'll have a casual Friday this week. And uh, then the holidays and the New Year stuff is finally behind us. And then my show on the 14th. And then your show, Internet yep. Rabbit Hole. Internet Rabbit Hole. Do you know what the first episode is going to be? I think the first episode is going to be, uh, I believe we might put up um, Pac-Man Invented Batman. Pac-Man. How Pac-Man Invented Batman. Batman. Uh, one weird trick a mom told yes. us. Um, oh, lots of uh, Alyssa Milano. Yes. In that. You won't believe what they said next. All right, thanks for watching, guys. <laughs> Sorry for the technical difficulties. We will see you on Thursday. Goodbye.